Mama Nicolette. I work with the beekeepers at D-Town Farm, and I also have spent almost 10 years teaching kids and parents and teachers how to grow food and how to cook the food that they grow. So I'm really happy to be here with you today to talk about bees. So I used to be a beekeeper, will be a beekeeper in my future, and also have a 10 year old son that's also studied beekeeping. So I really love bees, everything about honey. And today I'm gonna do three different activities. First, we're gonna talk about bees. I'm gonna teach you about the hive and the different jobs that bees have. Then we're gonna do some fun activities and I'm gonna show you what's inside your kit. And then lastly, we are going to do a honey tasting. So we'll get to taste some honey with some pretzels and we'll play a little bitty game and that'll be it. And then at the very end, you can ask questions and I'll answer them and let's get started. So this is the buzz about bees. So in the hive, we've got three main players. So we've got first the queen bee, which uh, is arguably the most important bee. And so the queen bee is the mama bee. The queen bee is responsible for all the rest of the bees in the hive. And the vast majority of the bees in the hive are all females. So it's a mom and a bunch of sisters. And then they are, and the sisters, are worker bees so you have the worker bee that that plays many roles the worker bee can be a nurse so nurses help to take care of the queen nurses help to feed the babies um which are called brood when they're still developing in their cells you also have field bees field bees go out and they get honey and pollen and nectar and they bring all the food back to the hive and you also have guardian bees that guard the inside of the hive from all types of bad guys that want to get inside the hive so that can be anything from other insects to mice or like little small animals sometimes try to get inside the hive and then you have drones and drones are the only males inside of the hive and what's important to know about drones is that they don't really do anything they don't um they don't really work they are the only bees in the hive that have to be helped out of their cells so when um the mom lays eggs the when the worker bees are big enough to hatch and come out of their cells they have to climb out of their cells and then immediately clean their little bed out that they were just in drones are the only bees that have to be helped out of their cells and then fed and then cleaned um and because of that because drones don't do very much inside of the hive in the winter time drones are kicked out because bees when over winter have a really hard time surviving so they have to make sure that everybody that's in the hive is really important to be in the hive drones do mate with other bees with other queens from other colonies to help produce more bees so they do have a purpose but they're not very helpful inside the hive so that's the most interesting thing to know about the drone um so as you can see they all are they all look and are shaped very differently so the queen um is long it's longer than the rest of the bees and she's skinnier um her wings are also a bit um thinner and her pattern is is distinctly different from the drone and from the honeybee so the worker bee and i'm sorry these are all honeybees but her pattern is different from the worker bee so the worker bee is a bit fatter and it's shorter um and and as you can tell its wings are even longer and part of that is because the worker bee will especially if it's a field bee it will fly in and out of the hive much much more often than the queen the queen will take a few 
flights to make in her lifetime and then she'll spend the rest of her time inside of the hive as as um and the difference is that the worker bees will especially if they're field bees they will fly out of the hive to go collect honey i mean not honey but nectar and propolis and pollen and they'll make they'll make that flight every single day for their entire lives so another interesting thing to know is that bees don't have a very long life cycle so most bees will survive about 30 days queens are the bees that that have the longest life cycle they can live about three years and um at the end of their life cycle the other bees in the in the hive will know and so they'll begin they'll get ready to make a new queen and a new queen is fed a different meal than the rest of the bees the rest of the sisters the rest of the workers they are fed something called royal jelly which is a different mixture of nectar and honey than the other bees get this is a picture of pollen and pollen is bee food and as you can see pollen comes in different sizes and different colors for humans pollen is actually really healthy and and a lot of times if you have allergies or if your moms or your adults or people in your family have allergies um, pollen can help with allergies just like honey can um, so pollen is really powerful and bees um, get pollen from different flowers and plants this is a bumblebee which is different from a honeybee bumblebees don't make honey and bumblebees are those really thick fat bees that you see um and you often see i think oftentimes you see bumblebees landing on flowers more so than we see honeybees this is a hornet's nest um and hornets are um predators of bees so those so some of the some of the guardian bees would be protecting the um will be protecting the the hive from hornets this is what the hornet queen looks like so as you can see it's really it looks really different from the queen bee and so at home i want you to take a of a minute or so and just talk to your moms and dads or whoever is there with you about the differences between what the queen hornet looks like and the queen bee looks like. They're very different. Now, we are on to yellow jackets. And this is my favorite fun fact to tell people. People often confuse yellow jackets with honeybees. Um, to the naked eye, they look alike, but if you look really closely, the, the pattern on a yellow jacket is very different than the pattern on a honeybee. So here, um, you have, you have, the a honeybee is, again, it's wider and the, and the pattern is less precise. It's more fuzzy, the color, it's more of a gradient. And then here, yellow jackets are much, much more skinny in frame. And also they have a more precise um, pattern that goes right across, it's more perfect. The biggest way you can tell the difference between a yellow jacket and a honeybee is if you're like outside and you're eating a cookie and, and um, something that looks like a bee comes and lands on your cookie or your drink or it's at the family barbecue those are yellow jackets yellow jackets eat whatever bees only are gonna eat honey nectar and pollen bees never want your they never want you know your drink they don't want your cookie they don't want your slice of cake so anytime you see something around your food that's a yellow jacket And this is the queen. This is a blown up picture of the queen. Um, 
And the queen is so powerful that if the queen goes missing or if the queen dies, she her scent, which is called pheromone, is missing from the hive and her daughters automatically can tell that she's not there. They take all their cues from the queen, they pamper her, they make sure she's okay, they feed her because um, she's the most important part of the hive. She's the reason that there is a hive and she's the reason that they keep going. So we love the queen. And that's the end of our uh, presentation about the hive. So now we're gonna move on to our kits. So if you were in the first 15 people or so that register, you got a kit. And in the kit, you either got this Magic School Bus book that's called Inside a Beehive. And inside of the book, we've got a fun adventure with Miss Frizzle and all of her students. And they talk about all the same stuff that we talked about. They talk about um, the difference between bees and wasps. They talk, they go inside the hive. They explore the different parts of the bee, the antennae. So it's a really fun book. And then we've got From Honey Bees to Brain Freeze, which is a little cookbook. So it there are lots of fun recipes. This one is a honey berry waffle sandwich. We've got like honey turkey roll-ups this is one of my favorites it's a peanut butter and honey sandwich with apples so you got either one of these you also got a honey bee activity book which is our very own activity book that we put together and in here there's lots of there are lots of fun activities there are coloring books and then each page gives you some education about bees we've got like a recipe in here and a couple other fun activities crosswords and word searches and then you got crayons to color with and then a little pencil and you got materials to make a headband which we're gonna make and you got this fun little treat bag which is maybe my favorite thing so in the treat bag you got some honey sticks and some honey candy and that's it okay so, so we're gonna make this B headband so you've got headband two pipe cleaners and two yellow styrofoam balls so the first thing we're gonna do is there are two little points at either end of the headband it's like a little crisscross egg so you're gonna just take that wrap it around squeeze it and you can make your antennae shorter or longer make mine a little bit shorter there we go and then we're going to do the same thing over here wrap it around you want to make sure you secure it really well and you can ask your adults to help you if you're having trouble squeezing That looks about, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be even. Okay. Okay, you might want to wrap Okay. And then we're going to take our little balls. And then you just, this is sharp enough where you can just stick it in there. Now that we've got our bee headbands on, it's time for us to taste the honey. So, we've got, and here you've got a little, so we definitely want to have our adults to help us with this. So, we've got a little card, 
And if you can read, you I want you to only read this side of the card. It will say honey matchup on the first side. But if you can't read, ask your adult to help you read it. So we've got two different types of honey here. We've got a lighter honey and a darker honey. So the first thing that we're going to do is wash our hands. So we've got I, our honey headbands on. We are bees. We are honey bees. And we're ready to taste some delicious honey. So first we're going to wash our hands, sanitize our hands. And then we have two different samples of honey. So one of them is light brown and one of them is dark brown. We've got some little pretzel sticks. These are gluten-free pretzel sticks. They have a little bit of salt on them. And then we've got our little honey tasters. So um, let's ask our adult at home if we can't read yet, or we're still learning to find the card that says honey match up. So here we've got two different types of honey that we're going to taste. So the first thing we want to do is taste the honey. So we're going to taste the light one first. So we can either use our stick or our pretzel stick. So you really want to just like let it hit the roof, swirl it around, get a second taste if you need to. Honey is so good. Okay, and now we're going to taste the darker honey. And it doesn't really matter which order you do this in. That's really good, but really different. Now, I'm going to read the description, and then I want you to um, match whether you think it's A. So once I read the description, I want you to take your pencil and run a line from from to each I want you to take your pencil and run a and draw a line from A or B to which honey you think it is so this color is light amber almost yellow um, it smells, and let's not forget to smell it. It smells kind of a little bit like flowers. It tastes sweet, almost like butterscotch. And also it feels slippery. So we want to take some time to also feel it. Okay. And then... And that's the, and then the, the second description is dark brown, slight reddish tinge. It smells kind of spicy. Um, it tastes like, like molasses and it feels a little less slippery and a little bit more grainy or more textured. It's not so slippery. You can kind of feel it in your fingers. So I want you to guess which one is which. And and then on the back is actually, I'm not going to show you, but on the back is actually the key to which honey is which. So just, you know, take your time, taste it. You can use a pretzel to clear your palate in between each time. But that's pretty much everything that I have for you today. Um, though I have some other activities that you can do at home with your families and your friends, I will put them in the chat. If you didn't get a kit, then I have some things, some quick and easy things that you can order. And, um, don't forget to eat some of your honey stick and have a piece of your honey candy and have a good weekend.